this morning when I'd opened my mailbox, I thought I'd gotten something really cool with the box that was waiting for me, but let me tell you, upon opening this product, I felt as though me and Pikachu, the product inside, were sharing an expression, and that would be an absolutely massive frown. I was very, very sad to see what I'd received. Now, you might be wondering what I'm talking about here, and I'm about to show it to you. We've got some Funko Pops from AliExpress. Now, when I ordered these, I knew full well these were unofficial. However, I didn't expect these to be anywhere near as bad as they were. I'm going to show you the product itself. I'm actually going to be putting gloves on before I open these because I opened these beforehand. By the way, this is how the box came, like in this crushed state and you'll also we're going to point out some very interesting things part of the packaging um for instance um they decided to go with the four famous canto starters uh pikachu charmander pikachu and square um yes uh charmander seems to be a shiny uh at least uh that's coloring wise it is in here and also, these particular Funkos are very small compared to normal ones. And I had also gotten another one uh, that came loose. It didn't even come in a box, which is really funny to me. And we're going to compare that to an original one as well. So let's go take a look at what we've got here. And now we've got our gloves. We're going to put them on. And we are going to take a look at what is in these absolutely disgusting packages so the reason i'm wearing gloves like i said before um i got this product in the mail the other day i checked it out and the product smelled almost like gasoline when i opened it and i really i i couldn't believe it like i mean i get that bootleg products a lot of the time they're made out of like uh very unethical and outdated things like they'll be made out of lead paint and such but there was really something about this that stood out to me. Uh, the smell was like something I'd never smelled before. Um, so let's get right into our uh, right into our opening. Well, it seems we got some noise going on outside. Give me one second. Sorry about that. My neighbor decided he needs to mow the lawn right now and decided that he needs to pause right in front of our window every single time. So this is what we've got so if you hear any noise i will do my best to edit this out in uh the post processing but fortunately i'm either got to po pause this for probably what will be like a half hour 40 minutes and uh i don't got time for that so let's start off with what we got here Oof, and these are gross we have got fake pikachu now model wise these are far better until you look back here then you see that there's no painting back here the tail is not properly painted and well the ears speak for themselves this is a really bad bootleg product uh all right we have got charmander now this is interesting because the tail is completely attached and this seems to be slightly different from its original molding. Um, I, I'm not sure if there was like maybe like a bitty pop type thing where they were smaller and maybe they copied the mold off that. That could be what this is. But um, I've never seen uh, the, the Charmander tail just looks a lot shorter compared to the official Funko. So there's that. Now, so I mentioned in the beginning of this video that the Pikachu looks as though it has a frown, and that is because I couldn't really see the mouthing in the package. Um, you can only see this red line, so it looks like he's just really sad to be a part of this whole thing, and I don't blame him. These things are terrible. So, again, we move to the back. You can see where the painting was supposed to stop, and they just went over on both sides. And they didn't bother properly painting the back. So there is that. Now the number one Canto starter, Squirrel, right here, is uh has a shiny coloring, which I think is very interesting. And uh this one seems to be the only one that is not 
extremely poorly painted, but it's not painted very um, well. And uh, so now I'm gonna throw these up against official ones here. So this Pikachu Funko right here is supposed to be a copy of this one. The one of Pikachu doing a little wave. Let me see if I could get this. I'm not even gonna bother opening this. It's not worth it. So as you can see, size different wise and such. And I've also got a surprise one here that I ordered. Here is a Charizard Funko. Came with no box or anything like that. And here is it compared to an original. I know there's a little glare, sorry, but if you look closely, they did something very interesting with this one where they took the head mold and they kept the head mold the same size, but they went with a much smaller body. Again, I don't think this one had a miniature version of it. I, I think that they just tried to downscale this with a 3D printer probably, and it just didn't. It looks really wonky. Um, all in all, these are atrocious products. They smell horrible, and I wouldn't want anyone touching them with their bare hands because they probably are made of lead paint. So that's pretty much where I'm gonna end this review here. These products, they cost me about seven bucks for the four pack, and it cost me $1.98 for the Charizard, and I still overpaid because they are that bad. So, I'm cutting the video off here guys and with that i am going to say thank you guys all for helping me pass 8500 soon to be 8600 subscribers i appreciate every single one of you and every minute you spend watching my videos liking subscribing commenting sharing it all means the world to me and i love you all for it and i appreciate every single one of you and i'll catch you in the next one peace out